Hey everybody, third time's a charm. Um, this is the last in the sequence of um, very basic wrapping. This is not meant for wig wrapping. Not meant for stunts, not meant for whatever, but you can expand on this. And the whole point of this video series is to get you a little more comfortable and practiced with wig application. So this is the third in the sequence. Um, I showed you a very simple ponytail. I showed you a quadrant wrap. And then finally, this is just a French braid. It's very, very simple. It's nothing fancy. Um, this is not for principal work. It's not, sometimes it is, but it's really about getting the hair away. So what you want to make this look like is what, envision what a um, skull cap application is all about. There's a, one last, there's a, there's a few more wraps that we can show you, but that's more intermediate and senior level stuff. So we're not going there yet. This is basic. This is spray water. It's very helpful. I don't like to use a lot of water underneath the wig caps, but it, there are times where you need it. This is one of those times. A little bit of fuzz here. We just want to get rid of that. Easy peasy, right? Don't make it difficult. It doesn't need to be. So again, we're getting rid of the hair. We, whatever's going to make it the best, we can do it this way, we can do it this way, but I'm going to cross these just like we did with the other wraps. I'm going to use my handy clips that I'm going to take out when I get the wig, when I get the uh, sock on the head. I always take these out. I don't like to leave them in the head, on the head, because they're problematic. Okay, simple. Again, when you pull this up, make sure the artist helps you with their thumbs. I'm going to do it the way you never do it because it's wrong. You never drag it over someone's face. Get it up over their head. Halfway, hold it up. Get it up over the back. There we go. Same as always. Past the hairline. Two pay clips. And you know the rest. I'm not really going to go into a lot of detail about that, but I want to show you again my five placements. They're generally in the same place all the time. I like to have my clips match the color of the hair. It doesn't always happen. So this piece goes in underneath the cap and the hair is tucked in between. That's what holds it down. See? It ain't coming off. If there were stunts involved or action that we needed to really be conscious about, we would not do this wrap because it's not necessarily the right way. However, these French braids, if you think about this, something to be very mindful is that this is cushioning for stunt person. So what we could do, I'm not going to, but imagine more toupee clips, we could put a couple more in here, we could put a couple more in here to use as anchors. You might want to use a gel underneath these toupee clips, it gives it more stability, more anchoring. And then there's always the trick of the French pins through the wig cap underneath the pin and anchor. Okay, so we do this all the way around. Twist, pull. It's all about making it fancy. And it's always about their comfort. This can be a very difficult process for people. Some people are very sensitive. Some people's scalps can't take the pins. Um, this is a really nice way to get around that because you've got rid of all the hair. It's close to the head. If this is wet hair or you're using gel and it's slicked down and back, 
tighter, closer, tighter, closer. But that's basically the third in our final series of really basic wig application. So these are just the wraps we're talking about. We're not talking about getting a wig on the head. We're not talking about the adhesive sometimes that we use. We're not talking about more intermediate um, application where there's a whole lot more going on. This is really, really basic. So this is stuff we use most likely for background, um, but not always because background can be featured. Um, you're never really sure what's gonna happen and that's why the breadth of wig application is broad. Um, there's the costume wigs, there's real hair wigs, there's lace front wigs, there's pieces, there's multiple different things that we need to be very conscious of depending on what's going on. And I can't stress enough that it's imperative that you talk to your key about their chosen application. It's why we need to know a multiple of different ways to do this. Um, everyone does it differently, but there is a basic sequence that you can follow that you will get the work done. And it's imperative because the key doesn't have time to show you if you come out for a call. Um, can be very popular if you do that, so you need to actually understand this stuff. It's the whole point of why we're doing these videos to give you a basic understanding. This is a very basic wig wrap application, so three parts. There you go. Okay.